Crack collaboration wide open with Katana 5. Reduce pipeline friction, build bridges across teams, and experience a whole new way to create. With cutting-edge Katana Nuke interoperability, it features our most powerful architecture to date, becoming a must-have for your creative toolkit. Katana 5 introduces Foresight Plus. This feature lets you set off multiple live renders simultaneously. So you can see any changes update your shots in your renders straight away, making multi-shot workflows and working with asset variations easier than ever. With Foresight Plus, we rewrote our live rendering system to modify individual shots without impacting other live renders that are running. This means you don't need to worry about unnecessary render updates slowing you down. A new feature of Foresight Plus is the ability to pin graph state variables and frame parameters in the catalog. It's a way of halting changes made by these attributes when working with live renders. For example, when jumping between shots, all live renders don't need to be updated to the same value, helping you be more selective as to how these live renders receive updates. The same is true for frame parameters. They'll be pinned, and if you wish to apply these changes, unpin the frame parameter to release the lock and trigger the live render. We also updated our expression syntax, introducing new Python and reference expressions for accessing graph state variables. The previous syntax is still available, but an update was required to work with the new Foresight Plus functionality. Using the new syntax, each individual render is evaluated from the value in the catalog aiding multi-shot workflows when making per-shot overrides and ensuring live renders are uninterrupted when switching between graph state variables. And finally, we added the new Sync to Project Settings option. With this enabled, the frame and graph state variables update to match the foreground render in the catalog. With Foresight Plus, artists have better visibility over their sequence, which enables them to raise the quality of all shots simultaneously with no surprises. There have been many changes to our Hydra viewport, which now includes full support for custom render delegates. Using new options in the viewer tab, you can easily switch between delegates. This smooth and interactive process enables you to build your materials and lights and preview them accurately in the viewer. Render partners that support this feature will be shipping a Hydra delegate within their plugins for Katana 5, so it will be very much plug and play. You have options to pause or stop the delegate at any time to gain back interactivity as you're making changes. Then once you're ready, you can resume the delegate. For using custom render delegates, selection options enable you to choose how the elements are highlighted when selected in the viewport. You can also import a USD asset set up with purposes and enable or disable them in the Hydra viewer. So if the USD document includes information relating to purposes, you can be selective as to what you're previewing and untick the elements you don't want to see. One of the delegates available is our very own Advanced Viewport. This will be shipped with Katana and it's the technology behind Modo and Mari, which is now integrated in Katana as a delegate. Its delegate settings contain a whole range of options to further customize how scenes are viewed. This is a GL renderer and includes features such as ambient occlusion, better shadows, transparency, reflections, better representation when placing lights or authoring materials with USD, all without needing to render. So you can really harness the power of previewing your project at a high quality. Katana 5 makes further improvements to its Hydra viewer and you can now view instances in the viewport. You can preview the instances as bounding boxes and get an idea as to where those instances are placed without displaying the full geometry. Nested instances are also supported, so no matter how complex your setup is, you'll be able to view them accurately in the viewport. With this new functionality, you can preview instances directly from within the viewport to gain visibility and better orient yourself within your scenes. Katana 5 takes great strides to expand our look development toolset and simplify the user experience. We've brought our macro system over to the network material space so you can now import and export areas of your shader network to share materials or sections of your network. We've also extended support for user parameters. You can now create them on super tools such as shading groups and network material creates. Artists can now provide valid parameter-driven choices at the shading group level. 
giving them finer control over the material. We're simplifying the learning curve of material creation, so it's as straightforward as possible for artists. In Katana 5, you can reorder the shading group's material interface while respecting ancestral nodes. Meaning, you can now reorder parameters at any point knowing these will be respected up to the parent network material create node. You can also rename public interface parameters from the shading group to help avoid potential naming conflicts in the network material edit. You no longer need to waste time diving into the inner shading groups to resolve conflicts. Katana 5 revamps the material interface, making it simpler to work with exposed parameters. Promoting and demoting parameters used to be a multi-click process, but now we've provided defaults to allow you to promote with ease. Exposed parameters also used to be expressed as an opinion on top of the original value. Now, when you modify an exposed parameter, you directly modify the parameter itself, making it easier to debug and jump to the source. We've also revamped the Material Interface Options dialog to give you more freedom to customize how you want your parameters to appear. A refreshed UI reduces visual clutter, hiding away unnecessary excess information. We've added a UI toggle to switch the node view states, with a preference to decide which view state your nodes are created in by default. Preferences and shortcuts for actions such as showing and hiding pages and filter boxes have been added to empower you to make your own creative decisions on how you want to use Katana. Our dot nodes are now smaller, neater, and omnidirectional, enforcing straight edge connections to streamline your network organization. Taking inspiration from the teleport node, you can now hide the input connections of any node with a simple shortcut. This makes it easier to remove visual clutter from complex networks. And with Katana's new intuitive port filtering, minimized nodes auto expand on cursor hover to show only the relevant ports based on the type of connection you're making. Turning a four or five click process into one swift movement. Katana 5 streamlines look development workflows, giving you more time to focus on being the shader artist whilst we handle the rest. Katana 5 includes key updates such as an upgrade to the VFX Reference Platform 2020. This is a dual release with Katana 4.5 using Python 2 and Katana 5 using Python 3. Both include the exact same feature toolset. We also upgraded the USD version to be using 2105, which drove further improvements within the USD space. Katana 5 builds on previous work by expanding on the USD export toolset to support lights as well. You can now author lights in Katana to export them and then even bring them back in. Not only can you view the imported lights, but also interact with them using our lighting tools to apply further changes and to leverage Katana's powerful inheritance features and multi-shot workflows. This is all open source in our USD plugins repository, so further customization can be made. Out of the box, this supports default USD Lux lights and any renderer specific lights listed in the shader registry. With this new feature, you can create lights inside Katana and push them back up the pipeline to view and validate work in context of the final lighting. Katana 5 brings the most requested feature yet, Nuke Bridge. Viewing your Katana renders in the context of a Nuke comp allows you to see immediately how your work impacts it and also preview how it will look. This means you no longer have to endure the tedious process of manually exporting and importing renders to and from Nuke to see that result. Now you can see it at the click of a button and you don't even need to have Nuke open. You can set off a preview comp or a live comp to stream pixels through a Nuke script before coming back into Katana. You can use this to combine render passes or this can be taken even further to create things such as contact sheets and much more. NukeBridge even supports renders from Katana containing multiple AOVs. These can be used to preview the beauty pass directly in Katana. The possibilities are endless. A live comp is used when you want changes made from within Katana to be sent to Nuke and updated dynamically. So as you iterate on your projects and tweak things such as the lighting, you'll be able to see the live comp update as those changes are being made. Nuke Bridge also provides an option called Interactive Comp. This launches Nuke with Katana, allowing artists to work side by side in both applications to fine tune and iterate. 
Any changes made in one feed back to the other. With NukeBridge, you can now preview shots or even sequences in context of a Nuke comp and make better informed decisions when tweaking your work. You can even track your renders using the Nuke Bridge tab. This all provides a much easier way to review your shots effectively, to get fast and direct feedback, so you can continue to iterate more efficiently. We hope you've enjoyed getting a quick look at the exciting new updates in Katana 5.